Okay, buffer overflow one. Now we're cooking. You can overflow the buffer and return to the flag function of the program. You can view the source here. And what are our hints? Make sure you consider big endian versus small endian. Changing the address of the return pointer can call different functions. I've gone ahead and downloaded these things. Uh, so I've downloaded the source here. I've got it in Notepad. So our vulnerable function is right here. We have a buffer of size 32. But this get s is going to let me type in as many characters as I want. And if I just change the return address to the address of win, it'll print out the flag. I've downloaded the program and I put it here into Ghidra. Putting it into Ghidra was a bit of overkill since I really mostly just need the return address to be the address of win. The address of win is 080491F6. So I'll need that. If I look at Vuln, I can see that get s gets called with the address that is uh, hex 28 is 40 below the EBP. And we have the old EBP, so I need 44 bytes of characters and then 080491F6. So let's say Python print, uh, I say 44 plus F6, 91408. And then I need to send that to Netcat. Uh, 51416 Saturn Pico CTF net 51416 all right so I missed my parentheses that means I'm running Python 3 oh I'm not getting it all that I want so if I'm in Python 3 it's going to do internationalization and so just sending these bytes like Python 2 would. So I'm going to need to say import sys sys um, what is it? standard output buffer write and then I'll need bytes bit yeah byte strings. And I'll need to put a new line at the end of this thing. Okay, what did I get wrong here? Import sys, sys dot standard out, buffer, oh, I typed it wrong. So write t, it's just write. Okay, so. 44 got me to the return address. I changed the return address. This is in backwards because it's little endian. So you put the bytes in in reverse order. It then jumps there and we get addresses are easy.